Hey everyone, welcome back to part 5 of this series and in this part we are going to write our Compose UI. So let's get started. So for that, within our home screen Composable, I am going to pass nav controller and after that I am going to pass our view model, home view model and this view model is going to be initialized by hilt view model. Okay. And within this home screen, I am going to take a reference of our view model blocks dot value. Okay. Now, depending on the resource state holder in our case, and we have typically three state loading state, error state, and the successfully getting data state. So for our loading state, we are going to create a box and I am going to provide modifier dot fill max size. And within this box, I am going to create a circular progress bar indicator and this indicator is actually exist or lie on the center of our box so use modifier dot align and pass align and pass alignment to the center okay so this is a case of our loading now for our error so for our error it if error is not blank on that occasion we, s we are going to create a simple box and uh, I am going to use modifier fill max size just like the upper one and within this box I am using text this time and pass the resource error to string it is not mandatory to pass to string and after that I am going to use modifier so modifier which is equal to modifier dot align and pass alignment center so it will exist it will lie on the center of our screen okay now we are going to take take care of our success case so for that i am passing lazy column remove this parenthesis and use a lambda expression and within this lazy column first we are going to check the data so data okay now this data if it is not null okay so if it is not null we are going to iterate our list item so for that use items open a lambda expression and within this item we are going to pass our list of blocks which is coming from our resource data or you can say state holder and within these items we have to iterate the post item so this is another composable and we are going to create this composable pass it which is a list item so now i am going to create this composable post item okay so here we create successfully our post item composable now we are going to write the post item so for that i am going to show you the application here you can see this is our application and from this adult labrador retriever from this divider to the top is our single post item so within this single post item we actually have a column on the top so this column is actually contain this line this image and this text vertically and on the top on the header we have a row in this row we have one image and one text and within this we have a spacer which is used to produce some space okay so yeah this is a simple post item and this post item we are going to create so jump into our post item and see at the top we have column basically this column is a container of our post item okay so this within this column i am going to pass our modifier so modifier I am using fill max width because it will take the complete width of our mobile devices vertical arrangement and this arrangement is going to the center okay all right now within this column you can see in the application we have on the top we have a row in which we have a circular image and our text so for that I am going to create a row so row modi modifier modifier dot fill max width and after that we are going to pass 
the vertical so vertical alignment alignment center vertically and within this row let me reformat it and within this row we are going to create a circular image so for that i am going to create a circular image so within this circular image we are going to pass width height radius and image url but before that we are going to create this composable so here you can see we can create our circular image composable successfully and we have width which is a type of double and height sorry height which is a type of double now within this circular image i am going to create a card and using modifier so modifier dot we can pass width which is coming from our parameter width is equals to width dot dp and after that we are going to pass the height so height is also coming from our parameter so use height dot dp okay after that in the shape parameter in the shape parameter we are going to pass rounded corner shape and pass the radius which is coming from the parameter so radius dot dp now within this card we are going to create an image and make sure to choose painter and content description image and within this painter we are going to pass a remember image painter and this remember image painter you can choose the data one and within this data i am going to pass my image url and for the content description i pass null and after that i am going to pass the content scale and the content scale is crop okay so this is all for our circular image the image you can see over here okay this is a card and within this card we have a image okay and after that we are going to make a spacer and a text so jump into our application after this circular image you can pass the circular image width is 50 and our height is also 50 and the radius is 25.0 and the image url which is coming from our it dot honor dot picture okay so this is our honor picture and after this circular image we have a spacer so spacer use modifier to provide some space so modifier provide some width i am using 6 dp width and then after we have a text or you can say name of that honor dot last name okay and that's it everything is fine all right so this is all for our row so this row is actually lie on the top of our block now we are going to take care of this image and the text and the divider simple so for that go to in our column and within this column i am going to create another image use remember image painter use the data one it dot image and after that we are going to pass the content description so the content description is null and the content scale so the content scale is crop okay and we did, we forgot to pass the width and height so modifier fill max width and the height should be 300 dp okay so this is for our image so we successfully create our image now we are going to add a text within our column and a divider so for that go here add text and this text is coming from our blog after that i am going to pass modifier so modifier dot padding and the padding i am going to give 12 dp and after that i am using style to decorate my text so text style text style we are going to pass color so the color is gray and we have font size i am using 20 dot sp for the font and that's it 
lastly we are going to use the dividers so for that use divider and that's it some padding to our row so I choose a dot dp okay so this is all for our post item now pass the post item within our recycler view or you can say lazy column and uh, yes everything is fine so now go to your manifest and register this permission for taking internet in our mobile device or you can say for using the internet in our application you should write this permission this permission and after that go to your data java com go to your common java com and within this constant you can see we did not pass our id and base url so for so pass your base url and app id so this is our base url and this is my app id you should use your app id okay now within our data layer java com and within this network di go to your data module and instead of passing empty string you can take you should use constant and pass your base url all right everything is fine now jump in our main activity and here you can see you need to pass our nav controller so nav controller pass your nav controller okay and we are using dagger hilt so write this android entry point so the class which is using dagger hilt you need to annotate that class with this android entry point all right so everything is looking good now i am going to run my application and see whether it is working or not here you can see our application will run successfully and this is our result okay here you can see this is our post item all right so we successfully create our first screen now it is time to create our detail screen so we will create our detail screen in the next part okay so that's all for this video we will meet in our next video and create our detail screen all right thank you